does a willow tree have to do with gum? What do you think, Ava? I'm stumped, Ari. We've got to really chew on this one. Make sure we're not barking up the wrong tree. Too much. Too, Too much. much. The mosquitoes are really bad today. I've got bites all over. I've got just a thing for that. It's called aloe vera. Hmm, this should do the trick. Cool. It's so weird. This plant is full of gel. Well, it's practically all water. The plant stores it in its thick leaves for when things get too dry. Lucky me, this feels so much better. People have been using aloe on bug bites, burns, and all kinds of things for like hundreds of years. People have been using plants as medicine for thousands and thousands of years. Ancient Egyptians used willow bark and leaves as medicine since at least 1500 BCE. And there's even evidence that humans were using herbal remedies 60,000 years ago. Today, scientists make aspirin using the willow tree. But how did those people thousands of years ago figure out that plants could be helpful? Well, a lot of learning came from experimenting. But there's also a bunch of things we learned from animals. It's time for Name That Remedy! We're going to show you an animal and three plants. Can you figure out which plant the animal uses? When pigs in Mexico get a stomach ache, which plant do they use? Is it the prickly pear plant, the pomegranate plant, or the agave plant? The pomegranate plant. They chew on the roots to feel better. Starlings cover their nests with the leaves of which plant? Is it the beet, the potato, or the carrot? Yep, the carrot. It keeps away mites so their chicks can grow up healthy. Monarch butterflies always lay their eggs on which plant? Is it the milkweed, the dandelion, or the sunflower? Yeah, the milkweed. Milkweed makes other animals sick, so they won't come and eat the caterpillars when they hatch. Different plants are used in many different ways. This pretty purple flower is from the echinacea plant. It grows wild and has been used as a medicine for a very long time. The indigenous people used it for a cough medicine, preparing the roots to help coughs and sore throats. Before you could even buy a pack of gum, the people would collect the sticky resin from the spruce trees and chew on it. Hmm, amazing. Potato, that's the answer to the riddle. Willow trees give us aspirin and spruce trees give us gum. Plants give us so much. Just take a quick look at a grocery store or drugstore. You can't even count the number of ways nature helps us out every day. So let's make sure we help in too. Challenge time! We challenge you to find things in your house and neighborhood that come from plants. Nature is full of surprises. Lots of stuff stems from plants. Look for clothes made of cotton, like your jeans, or furniture made of wood. These rubber boots made from a rubber tree and straw hats. Look for wooden signs in parks and murals that are painted on walls. Those beautiful colors come from plants. Can you be leaf it? Take a chance, branch out. And discover how plants help us out every day. For lots of other fun and games and riddles, visit, visit clearwaterkids.org yourself to connect to nature and build a healthier world for yourself, for the earth, and for a potato.